I was raised to always take care of someone. So I'm always giving. I used to work in school nursing, taking care of children with disabilities. 29 years ago, I became very ill while at work and they discovered that my liver was failing. I was 36. My sons were seven and nine. I was fortunate that I was in the right place at the right time. So May 1st of 1990, I received a liver transplant. I thought I would have been dead at age 40. I saw my sons graduate high school. I saw them graduate college. I have a granddaughter that's 18. I saw her being born. I raised her and I spent a lot of time with Ashley. I didn't think I would have lived to see retirement, so to be 66, that's a miracle for me. When I was turning 65, I had no idea that my insurance was ending. They never notified me that the insurance doesn't continue. I had no knowledge of it. So I was frantically making calls because my transplant medication I need to take for the rest of my life. I would have had to pay $900 for one medication for 30 days. And that was $900 I didn't have. I was terrified. I, I would have gone into rejection without my medication and I could have died. But if it wasn't for the gentleman that asked me, Do, have you ever heard about Medicare Right Center? And I said, no. He said, call them and see if they could help. He gave me the telephone number and there's this calm voice on the other end of the line. Melissa called our helpline. She had a few concerns that many of our callers have. And I explained to her that because she was turning 65 that she could no longer keep the same insurance. And so I helped her kind of navigate the transition into her new insurance and made sure she understood what her options were and how her insurance worked. Currently, as people are approaching Medicare eligibility, they do not receive a formal notification about their Medicare eligibility. And so Medicare Rights has been advocating for improving the Part B enrollment process. We take what we learn from people with Medicare and we advocate for improvements to the Medicare program. So a lot of people who call our helpline qualify for these benefit programs and they don't even realize it. Things like the Medicare Savings Program, Extra Help, Epic. That program would pay the premium but also to cover my medication because I had a low income. Just last year, we helped clients save close to $6 million in prescription drug costs and Medicare premiums. Not only are they able to get their medically necessary treatment, but it helps people afford the cost of daily living. Our services are completely free. We're really fortunate to be able to get funding to do the work that we do. With the help of our supporters, we've been able to help millions of people with Medicare through our helpline, our educational resources, and our public policy initiatives. Even people who are very educated have confusion and issues navigating the Medicare systems. And she's someone who is very smart and she's an incredible advocate for herself. I'm in a nursing profession. You're on a different side of the fence. You're not that healthy person. You're not the one giving the care. You're the one needing the care. And she did take the time to care for me. She had a month where she had a gap in coverage before her prescription drug plan became effective. And so by accessing these drugs through this limited income net program, she was able to pay very low cost for this critical medication. My medication does not stop coming. So the 30 days that I would have gone without medication, Medicare Right Center saves my life. So they have become part of my miracle. She's a really strong, resilient person, and she still keeps a really positive attitude. We only speak to them for maybe a short period of time that we can really have a lasting impact on their health and quality of life through the work that we do. I didn't want to be emotional about this, but she did touch my life that day. And I, I really appreciated what she did.